What is up guys, back again. Monday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, gonna go ahead and work on the goat. Um, got, got something in the mail. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wheels came. Um, going to do just a quick test fit. Uh, almost positive they'll fit. But just in case, and then we're gonna go get cracking on the uh, the front part of the rotors and the and the big brake kit install. So just figured I show you what I have so far. With the kit, it comes with all the brackets. So let's see, let's remember. So this would be the front. Uh, right here is the front. Comes with two extra brackets. Not extra, but so it comes with two brackets and all of the uh, hardware needed to install the kit bolts uh, these are uh, rotor bushings meaning that these go in here just to keep it centered um, one thing to note when you are running this kit is that these rotors are from a 2010 Chevy SS or newer um, you can use the ZL1 rotors it doesn't matter the most important thing is that these are machined down uh, which I will throw up a clip of Dan machining these down for me. We the machine, you can use a stone or a Dremel tool. I just thought it would be a little bit better to use a CNC machine or a lathe, uh, if you will. So, further to do. Let's see these on the car. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of weight. It is all jacked up off the uh, suspension, so I'm going to have to use a jack and uh, push the wheel up that way, but at least give an idea of the poke uh, and such. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. So, I also went ahead and uh, Got some extended lugs, so these are just ARP extended lugs. Um, I can link the description to exactly what I got. Link the item in the description to exactly what I got. But just running uh, ARP studs. These are a Pet Boy Special. These are Motorsport hardware um, through lug nuts. So they're able to go uh, all the way through. A little bit disappointed with how non-extended the ARP studs are, but I guess we'll pop the stock ones off and, and see exactly um, how extended they are. But for a GTO, you can see that's what it basically looked like. Um, but for a GTO, you have to run Evo, I don't know what year, but Evo, space, or Evo extended lugs up front, and then the back is for a just M12 and a half. M12. 245? Nah. 275. Wheels look sick. Uh, try it on the front. Give you a little, a little taste on the back. First time I think I've ever gotten a, a wheel right. Shout out to Zach. But um, I'm not going to show you, but give you a little glimpse. Is the suspension killing you? Fitment is a little bit more poke to it. I uh, do plan to run about one and a half, two degrees up front, and uh, about one degree in the back, so. But, can we just, uh, just give my, my fenders a nice roll and, uh, Everything should be should be really good. So as I go along here, really just trying to learn on this one side uh, before we go balls to the wall at it and, and start filming everything. But those are whoa stock bolts. Um, that's what came on the car. So. Of 
course I hammered, put this on and hammered it. Maybe I can find some use for that uh, later on. But yeah, almost every single car I've gotten has had Pet Boy lug nuts on it. Better be because these were almost 30 bucks. Is it worth it? I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but quite the difference. Curious to see what the back looks like as well. All right guys, that is gonna be it for tonight. Gotta go to work tomorrow, I know it sucks. Um, Magic Zoo on the other side, so I was just gonna show you the progress. Uh, not much was made. All right, so, so the front, uh, everything is there. It is not tightened down. Um, I'm hoping that the when I go to tighten it down that it pulls the caliper a little bit closer into the wheel um, along with the rotor and all that stuff. These are just kind of loosely in there because I didn't have any uh, any washers to tighten them down with and I wasn't about to use my nice new lug nuts for that. But um, test fitted the wheel on there and it rubs very so slightly right along here. Uh, so making me a little nervous in that department. But I'm hoping once we tighten everything down, it should look a lot better. Um, the hub bore was on par with what it needed. Uh, we we went literally a hair bigger uh, on the hub bore, and it seems to work pretty well. But as far as the uh, as far as the kit goes and installing that, everything is super self-explanatory, super easy. Um, I am gonna have to grind down some of these stock caliper brackets or the, the mounting points that the stock ones connected to just so that the um, brake can sit flush up against it. So like I said, hoping to grab some distance between the wheel and the caliper there. So with the back, since we have this nice parking brake, there is a, see if we can get it, there is a bolt in there that is super not fun to get to. Um, it is a T50 hex head bolt right there and it is not fun to get to at all. Um, so rather than stripping it out I'm going to wait until I can go back home and grab a uh, half inch to one quarter adapter and then the back should be done. Um, there's, the, there's the meat stick for the back. But evidently the back's supposed to be a lot smoother. I know we have to cut some of this dust shield off. But uh, other than that, that's about it. With that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up, call it a night, be back here tomorrow. Um, it was supposed to be getting a little heater too. So it would be a little, little nicer. Might not have to work in the bibs. Um, but yeah. So really hoping these wheels fit because I like them. Nice little, little baby lip to them. And, um, yeah. Yeah, hi. Come here. Come here. Maddox back. Uh, we got a heater. So, oh, yeah. They're going. Um, uh, I don't know how much heat they put out. We'll see how long it takes to think garages. 20 by 20 basically, um, but pumping out some heat, we got it cracked, plus this garage is horrible, so, doors cracked on both sides. Alright, what's up bud? So we got, got this side mostly done. That's the old one. So, if you look in there, there is uh, spacers. Uh, the kit just has them. Uh, I guess to mount onto the rotor. Never really noticed how thick uh, that part is. What's up, bud? Never really noticed how thick this part was. It just sits out quite a bit. So, gonna get the wheel, mock it up again. Everything's tightened. Um, I do have to get 04 stainless brake lines for the front uh, just because these are a little bit too short and can't run these. Other than that, it's all done. Um, like I said, it's a little, a little wonky on there, but it'll 
solve itself once I put the wheel on it. Um, yeah. So what did we learn? Heaters are awesome. Um, this thing put in some serious work. I have it on low right now. I have it on high most of the time, but it, it's it's comfortable working in here. Um, I don't know exact temperature, but it's just comfortable. You can strip a Torx bit. So a little hold up there. Can't get the dust shield off the back wheel. Um, so I have to go get some shitty uh, shitty socket and just hammer it on here, and, and hopefully it comes off. That's what one guy recommended on the. GTO uh, Facebook page, so I guess we'll we'll give that a whirl before uh, we start drilling it out. I really don't want to drill it out. That's gonna suck. Um, what else? So, super rounded. That's my fault. Um, but like I said, kind of an easy fix according to everybody else. There's the uh, Mavericks ready to go home. Get a street and call it a night. You ready to go home, Bob? Yeah? Yeah? You like GTOs? You like goats? Hmm? You like goats? Well, I like goats too. Friday. Nice, toasty. It's supposed to be like 50 some degrees. I wish I could drive it, but working on it will suffice. So I'll catch you guys up on Friday, see what kind of progress we made. Um, hopefully the back will be done. I don't know if I'll film that or the, the whole day kind of thing, but had the shits and giggles of it already. But Project Goat, Project Stopping Goat, the heaters are good $60 investment. But anywho, uh, I'll catch you guys next clip. Up guys, um, next Two days, two days went. Uh, yesterday I just really focused on getting the back done. The dust shield is giving me a little bit of a problem with trimming it, but um, got a little bit done. When I do this side, I'm definitely gonna take the dust shield off completely and cut it. Just be a hell of a lot easier than cutting it while it's on. Um, things I'm running into, these directions suck. Um, oh, it's super bright. So that's how far we got. Um, it all fits. Back tucks nicely, so no real issue there. So one guy on Instagram that is running 285.30 on a by nine, by a nine and a half wheel. Um, I'm just talking to him, figuring out what tire I can run. And uh, evidently he measured and they said that you can only run a, or he said you can only run a 255, which will be kind of disappointing to me. Um, at, that'll be kind of disappointing if that's the only thing I can run. I don't see why a 275 won't fit when I took all the measurements. Uh, the only thing I might possibly hit is up in, close to the, um, so the only thing I might possibly, that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. I'd rather bump up Bump down to 30 uh, sidewall, then to go to a 255. After all, that's the main reason to get a bigger wheel is to get a bigger tire. Um, so, maybe a 265.30. We'll see. A little bit happier with the back than I was this morning. Um, this is what we're working with so far. Thing that I cut out of that dust shield. Uh, for the caliper to mount properly in it. Uh, down here was a little bit more difficult than the top. The top was pretty easy. Um, so I wanted something with a little baby lip to it. Um, felt like this was the best one. I was super nervous about buying wheels in general just because of the big brake kit. I didn't know exactly what would fit and what wouldn't. So these are 35 offset. The kit prefers 40, um, as you guys have seen. It is super close with the fitment. So, 35 offset, these are 18 by nine and a half, like I've said, apex wheels. I'm gonna get them powder coated. Uh, I'm gonna keep with the traditional copper in the middle, black lip on the outside, and then the uh, brakes themselves will be gloss black with the Brembo uh, letters and, and copper. So, should look pretty sick. I'm really stoked on these. Um, 
just hoping I can run the tire that I want. If I have to drop down to a 30 sidewall, I drop down, but I would rather have a wider tire. Super close between the uh, caliper itself and the wheel. Might be a quarter of an inch, a little bit more. Um, I think they look killer on the car. As far as poke wise, it's not, it's not very much. Plus, you know, say this is maybe positive camber since the car is jacked up. Um, I do plan to run about two degree of camber up here. So, extended lugs looking, looking minty fresh. Uh, and I got the uh, Motorsport hardware lug nuts. So, I think it'll all look pretty cool when it, once it's on, uh, color coded, everything like that. The back, as you can imagine, just the same thing. Um, so, cool thing about these wheels is you can see how it steps down like that, which is, allows you to run that big brake kit. Um, their 17s might even have worked with this kit, but super close, like you can't even. My finger won't go through there. They're on. Um, wasn't that bad of an install, actually. Just just a little tedious and time consuming because I didn't want to fuck anything up. Um, one thing I wanted to do with this car is just do it right the first time and, and kind of not piece it together like my other car was. Um, the other car was just slapped together when I got frustrated and just, you know, walk away and come back and somehow piece it together. But this one I want done right. Um, I don't know. Don't want to be going down 100 miles an hour and then have a wheel fall off. So, and, and compile all the clips that I have from installing the brakes on here and just do like a big, you know, how-to video, uh, like a little Chris Fix edit. But... So that'll be like a little extra one I just throw into uh, the uploads, but Monday uploads, I'm really trying to stick to them. Um, I'm sure once summer comes around, I'll kind of die off, but winter time, she'll be getting built. Um, next thing to do is the bushing. So I'm going to start with the rear, work my way up. I have a trans, I got camber toe adjusters for the rear, um, all that stuff. So hopefully by the time I get to the front, my camber plates come in and we can figure out what we want to do there. Uh, just really disappointed with how little camber this car can get from the factory. So I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, good start to the work week, and uh, check back next Monday with hopefully a bushing update and a camber plate update. Fingers crossed. See you guys next week.